Hey guys, so today I want to talk about the recent buzz around chat GPT and this whole notion that it's going to replace software engineers and make us all obsolete. First of all, let's just start by defining what chat GPT is, right? So the GPT stands for generative pre-trained transformer, which basically means that chat GPT is a type of artificial intelligence that can generate human like text by predicting the next word in a sentence based on a context of the previous words. So far, ChatGPT has been used to generate entire articles, social media posts, and even poetry, etc. But I wanna address the idea that ChatGPT and other AI tools will lead to a situation where software engineers are no longer needed and will be replaced by machines. This fear is not new and it's always been around and it always comes around every now and then throughout the history of technology because every time a new trend or innovation comes about there are always going to be people that are going to predict that it will lead to the demise or destruction of certain industries and jobs but here's the thing technology has consistently created new jobs and opportunities even while it's automating certain tasks and made some jobs obsolete right it still creates new opportunities within that. You know, just for example, the rise of the internet and people using computers has automated a lot of tasks while at the same time creating new industries and job opportunities in fields such as e-commerce, digital marketing, and software development. So the fear that chat GPT and other AI tools will replace software engineers is just completely not true. Instead, ChatGPT will actually help us to do our work and be a lot more efficient, just like a hammer helps a carpenter do their work and be more efficient. So ChatGPT is a tool that can assist software developers in generating code and performing certain tasks a lot more efficiently, but it can't replace the critical thinking, the creativity and problem solving skills of a real human being. And it's also important to think about the ethical implications of just relying too heavily on AI tools, right? Because even though chat GPT and other AI tools might be able to generate text and code, they don't have the ability to understand the societal and moral implications of their actions. So it's very important for human developers to still have control over the development process and make sure that the technologies we create are being used ethically and responsibly. Now, I know that some of you might be thinking, but what about all the automation and outsourcing? Won't that lead to a decrease in demand for software engineers? And while, yes, it is definitely true that automation and outsourcing can lead to some job displacement, the software development industry is constantly evolving and there will always be a need for software developers to create and maintain new technologies including technologies like chat GPT, like it was built by developers. So how is it going to get rid of developers? <laughs> anyway, so software development really is not a dying industry because it is the industry that's creating all this technology. So there will always be a demand for software developers to maintain these new technologies that are being created and add additional functionalities and features to them. So if you're thinking about a career in software development or you are already a developer, don't let the hype around chat GPT or, or any other trending technology discourage you. Embrace it, right? Just continue learning, improving your skills and staying up to date on the latest technologies. And remember, chat GPT and other AI tools are just that, tools. They are not going to replace the need for human developers. So don't let this fear of being replaced hold you back from pursuing a fulfilling and well-paying career as a software engineer. All right. So thanks for watching. And I hope this video has helped to clarify the role of chat GPT and why it is not going to replace software developers. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you.